I made no excuses. I get up every day, I graduated college. I got two degrees. I'm doing this. I'm coaching. You know, I'm healthy. I don't make excuses, man. You know, um, yeah. I think that's that's that's. I think that's like the my X factor is the figuring out part. I'm gonna keep doing. I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep trying so I figure it out because. 200 years ago, one of airplanes in the sky. Yep. Sure. You feel me? Like it's a hundred, 200 people going in the air right now. If if you can figure out how to put a plane in the air to carry 200 people, I can figure out how to do real estate. Mm-hmm. Plain and simple. Cause that 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 me figuring out how to do real estate and him trying to put planes in the air, two different things. So if you can figure that out, I can figure out how to do real estate, man. So that's just my whole my whole thing. If you can do it, I can do it. If it's exactly. been done, I can do it too. Plain and simple. And I know there, there's this feeling out there that people think that like, oh my God, there's so many people doing it. I can't get into it right now. You know, I understand that feeling because I felt that before, but guess what? There's a lot of people doing it, but there's a lot of people doing it wrong. And yes. you gotta be able to yes. do it right. Yes. Yes. And if yes. you do it ethically, okay? If you come as a, being a genuine person and mm-hmm. you're trying to solve the problem, it's going to work, okay? Yeah. Yeah, now, sure. are you going to make millions right off the bat? Hell no. Okay. But guess what? You got to keep at it. You got to j- chip it away, um, you know, and and kind of go from there. So You got to have grit. Yeah. Plain and simple. You ain't got no grit. This ain't for you. Success okay. ain't for you. Right. Life ain't meant for you because at some point in time, life will challenge you, expose you, all types of stuff. If yep. you ain't got no grit, if you don't have no faith, you out of it. You right. know what I mean? Like you gotta have grit. And that's one thing I learned in college. Like you gotta have grit. You gotta grit up and just figure it out, man. It may hurt, it may be painful, it may be, it may last a week, it may last a month. But if you constantly stay at it, you'll get over it and you will figure it out, man. You know, that's always been my I think that with me growing up with my without my father and then my mother having me at 16, I was kinda like we she grew we grew up together. So it was kinda like I gotta figure it out. Cause I gotta take care of my mom. My mom been taking me care of me since she was 16. I gotta figure it out. No matter what I do, no matter how I do it. And that's always been my, like, I always tell my mother and my aunties, I'm gonna take care of y'all. Yep. I'm gonna take care of y'all. That's always been my promise to them. Um, and when I got, when I broke my foot playing football and I get, ended up getting blood clots in my lungs, I was devastated, bro. I was, I was so heartbroken because I felt like I told them a lie. Mm-hmm. I couldn't. I couldn't perform and do what I love no more. But it's like, okay, my mom and that day, that night, I was in, the, I was in, the, I was in, the, in, my, in my, my hospital bed. My, my, my mom said, switch. I'm like, I gotta do something else. Now, what I'm gonna do about it? I start asking myself the right questions. Now, I think that's, I think if people start analyzing their life, when you start asking yourself the right questions, you start finding the right answers to take steps forward. But if you're not asking yourself the right questions, you're gonna always be stuck. Like I told you, when I when they told me I might not play football again, I'm like, okay. How do I get rich about without 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 me playing a sport? What yeah, can I do? Yeah. I now first thing I typed in my phone, I remember I had it was uh it was like a little little metro. I'm like, how do millionaires get rich? And real estate popped up. And right in there, I'm like, real estate it is. 100 percent Um one thing that like attributes to what I've done and how I re- how I am. Mm-hmm. 100% is everybody says, oh yeah, you know, like ha- having a father figure in, in their life and this and that. I 100% contribute who I am, mm-hmm. who my father was. Absolutely. Okay. And the reason for that is because my, my father was the most patient and the most kind person on this earth. And you know how I know that? He's the only one that could deal with my mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, man. nothing against my mom. Like if you like, nothing against like my that. mom. She's a little psycho, just like every other. Truth. <laughs> I mean, ain't nothing wrong with the truth, man. And then, like, nobody's perfect, right? You know what I mean? Nobody's perfect, but so I've learned patience For from sure. my father. For sure. Okay, I've learned how to go after things from him. Now, there are some things that he's done that I believe is held him back and things like that. But I, I believe I learned from that not to do those things, mm-hmm. you know? And one thing that my, both my parents always did is they always believed in me. Absolutely. If I had an idea to do something, 
Okay, I wanted to go to college. I, they're like, okay, all right, well, walk us through it. Is it something you really want to do? Why? Mm -hmm. Why do you want to do this? Okay, how are you going to pay for it? What's going to happen? You know, what's your career choice? What's your going forward? They're not sitting here saying, no, you can't do it. That's a, that's a, that's a, uh, um, a unrealistic goal. Come on, you got to find something that's going to pay you something real, you know, this and that, mm -hmm. you know, when I got out of high school, I sold, I, I took a job mm -hmm. selling Kirby vacuums. Oh, those are expensive ones, right? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Now, I didn't make it at that. I'm going to be okay. honest with you. Mm -hmm. But I went through their training. I went through yes. all of that. And it just wasn't for me at that time in my life. Mm -hmm. But I took what I did there and I learned from it. And I learned what's working for me, what's not working for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm like, okay, now I got to figure out something else. Now I got to figure out something else. I did I did this. I got to figure out. I, I made it to my... I'm a, I think real estate is actually my fourth career. My day job is my third. Mm -hmm. Listen, hey, ready? Listen, man. I don't know if anybody on this podcast in the world have tried to have tried more things than me. I've tried drop shipping, lawn service. I've tried that. Uh, yeah. Listen, my, look. Matter of fact, let me tell you a quick story. My Monte Carlo that I had, right? I had a whole line service. You know, Monte Carlo is only two doors. Yep. Right? Yep. This is how crazy, like, my confidence has always been, like, like my confidence has always been how I've always been a confident person, right? So I'm doing bandit signs. I'm staying in East Lansing at the time. So I'm doing bandit signs, put them all around the city. Mm -hmm. I'm getting minimal traction and whatnot. So what I did was I put a, um, a, a Craigslist ad on Craigslist, right? Yep. Professional photo from like a guy with a, with a zero turn, a lime jacket and all that, right? The next morning, I'm my phone is blowing up. Blowing yeah. up. And I'm going to do these, I'm going to cut these, like my 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 line my landscaping skills is top tier. Edge. Yep. Be at the bag end. So my so but like I say, they I show up in a Monte Carlo. Pulling my lawnmower, my weed, whatever, my gas, all out this two-door car. <laughs> Get to it, not making no excuses. You know yeah. what I mean? And my work, and I and I kept those clients. I never stopped with those clients. Probably until like maybe two, three years ago or not. But like, I tried so many other things, man. Drop shipping. Um, I did uh, lawn service. Um, I did real. This is my like, my second time. I, I, like I did real estate. I did the host. I tried the wholesaling thing and, and Lansing. I stopped doing that. Did in there. Um, pallets. Oh my god, man! man listen, like when Water I say, <laughs> whatever, do whatever. Like like I said, like my whole like I said, my whole mindset is always to figure it out. No matter what I had to do, I'm gonna figure it out. We gonna try to look. Yeah. I'm exhaust all my resources and all my options before I say I quit. My, my, what's funny is that my dream as a kid, mm -hmm. okay, keep this in mind, my dream, I'm a 15 year old kid. Okay, actually, I'm probably more of like a 12 year old kid. Right. You know, think of this. My, you know what my dream is? What's that? To have my own business. Yes. You know why? It's because people with their own business gets to go anywhere. And that was. That was the reason why I wanted that. Mm -hmm. Now, so what did I start doing? I went out, I mowed lawns, I I shoveled snow, I did everything I could. I did my own business. Everything I did, I it was all because of what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I I was an entrepreneur ever since then. Now, yeah. I've had businesses fail. I used to be a photographer, and you know I've had photography business sale and a fail that I went there. It's all about marketing. Every stage of the process, what I've done, I've had to learn going up and up until now. Mm -hmm. And I think it's all prepared me to what I'm doing now. Absolutely. And I think that me doing so many other different things, I learned that marketing is king. Yes. I had to learn that marketing is king. If you're watching this, marketing is king. If you're not marketing, you can have a better product than me. If my marketing better than yours, I'm gonna outperform you every time. Yep. Plain and simple. And so, I had to learn that. So I'm like, 
when I learned, I'm like, ooh, wow. I had to learn that though. I had to learn that by going through so many different things. Like, the lead generation got to be right because if your front is not right, your back will never be right. So we're, we're coming up to the end here and let, let's figure this out. Like, so first off, there, there's two things I want to want to go after is yep. one, what are your last thoughts for anybody out there who are, is either just starting or um, who's thinking about starting, whether it be wholesaling, investing mm -hmm. or anything like that? Um, surround yourself with people, surround yourself with like-minded individuals. Surround yourself with people that, that has more than you that, that you can learn from. Yeah. Um, you got to find people that's going to sharpen your iron up, man. You can't be around a bunch of scrubs. Yeah. You can't be around a bunch of, and I don't mean to say scrubs in like a, in a bad way, but like if I'm playing basketball, I want to I play against the best. If I'm playing football, I want to play against the best. But I want to play against guys that I, that I know I'm going to outperform. I want to play against guys that's going to challenge me. That's going to bring out different skills and a different part of me that I didn't know I had. So I want to I want to get around the best group of guys I can get around. Um, so that would be one. And then two would be um, educate yourself. Yeah. Because when you get around these group of individuals, if you don't know enough, they gonna they know you if you're not if you're serious or not. Yeah. So educate yourself, education, mentorship, and then educate yourself. You know, you gotta, you gotta, get, you gotta get around the information. You gotta be fully engaged into your craft. One hundred percent. Now, for the last thing is, is how can people help you, mm -hmm. and how can they get a hold of you in order to do so? So you can get a hold of me um, if, if you're ready. Uh, my cell phone number is seven three four six eight six two eight six zero. Again, that is 734-686-2860. If you guys contact me about any deal that I have, um, you can email me or text me. Well, text me your information. I can put you on my buyers list if you're looking to buy properties. Um, if you look at the JV or anything or involving real estate, just give me a call, man. If I'm, uh, if I'm available, shoot me a text. I can get with you five minutes here, 10 minutes here. Um, and then as far as what I'm looking for, like I say, it's mentorship, dude, um, yeah. to, ele to elevate, you know, because like I say, as I continue to elevate, I want to bring people up with me. I want to I want to find hungry guys like myself, women like myself that want to really work and, and, and kill it in, the, in this industry. Man. Like mentorship, mentorship, mentorship. That, that's awesome. Excuse me, just real quick, make sure you're at the event on Wednesday. Yes. Okay, get your tickets. Yes. Please yes. do. Surround yourself with yes. great people. Yes. And go from yes. there. I'm gonna yes. be there. Um, there's I'll also, be there. Yeah. There's also Renegades is tomorrow night as well in Southfield and Shields. That's yes. 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 So yes. we should put we should we should have put that down in the, in the subscription, man. That that's big because yeah, that mastermind will be explosive. Will be informational. Will be wonderful to be in. It's a lot of high caliber guys that's gonna be in the building, and I can't wait, man. I'm so happy. I'm I'm so happy. Dean is bringing that to bringing this opportunity to trick for us, man. Shout out to Dean, man. I'm so happy, man. Shout out to him as well. Like I, I really, um, you know, really happy about that that, mm -hmm. that he's able to actually bring them. Yes. Um, it's a you lesson, know, man. Yeah. So what I'm doing here is I'm posting a link. It's a Facebook link uh, to the Facebook event, and you can click on there from there. I posted it in the um, in in the YouTube uh, chat as well as I'm posting it in the Facebook chat. So if you haven't got your tickets, click on those links below and go from there. And get get your tickets. So um, now, uh, with that being said, you know honestly this was a great talk. I I'm really happy to have you on here, Mike. Um, make sure you send me those deals. I got you. I got you, man. I got you. I got All you. Right. Uh, so they coming. They coming. So um, like I said, man, I I, I want to commend you, man. I want to thank you too, man. I, I I really do for even giving me the opportunity to be in your platform, man. That's that's great. That's awesome. Like I said, I want to congratulate you again. Thank you. Um, uh, and I'm gonna challenge you, my guy, because you my yeah. guy, and I gotta challenge you. Of course. Let's get this goal down, man. Let's go ahead and get yeah. you get you get you rolling. Get this get this get this whole thing automated, man. Cause I I, I know you can do it. You deserve it. Um, yeah. And I'm and I'm here to I'm here to see it. Let's get it. 
I appreciate it. All right, with that being said, um, I appreciate Mike. Mike, stay down here. I'm gonna bring you down. Uh, right, stay here. Right. I'll talk to you a little bit after, uh, for a minute. And everyone, everyone here, um, happy to have you. Thank you for joining. If you stay to the end, make sure you hit those links at the bottom and go from here. Thank you. Have a good day. Let's all do deals together.